Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this CPU heatsink fan from Cooler Master. This is the Cooler Master Hyper N520. Now I should mention this is not a new CPU cooler but it is a very popular one so we decided we should bring one in and do a little overview of it here for our YouTube audience as well as for any folks who might be looking to purchase this heatsink fan. So uh, we're going to start off with some specifications here on the side of the box and you should definitely know which CPU socket this is compatible with to make sure it will fit on your particular motherboard. So for Intel, we have compatibility with socket 775, 1156, and 1366. And of course, since it's 1156 compatible, that means it's also 1155 compatible. For AMD, we have socket AM2, AM2+, plus, AM3. Also, AM3 plus is supported. Also, FM1 is supported if you're using a new uh, Fusion APU. Also, it is backwards compatible with AMD socket 939, 940, and 754. So if you want to give some new life to an old FX60 or something like that, you can do that. Uh, we also have CPU support listed here. Um, that is not quite as important as CPU socket. If it's compatible with the socket, it should also be compatible with the CPU. But if you want some additional reassurance, reassurance you've got that. Uh, we'll go over dimensions with the images on the other side of the box. Uh, net weight is 688 grams. Uh, again, dimensions we'll go over again in just a second. Heat pipe dimensions, it's six millimeter heat pipes. It's got a copper base and aluminum fins, five heat pipes. It uses dual 92 millimeter fans. Fan speed is 1800 RPMs. They move 43.8 cubic feet per minute of air. And uh, you get an air static air pressure of 3.24 millimeters. It also has a sleeve bearing, 70,000 hours lifespan on the fans. Uh, fan noise level is 19 decibels A rating, and you get three pin connectors to connect them directly to your motherboard. You also get a little splitter if you want to wrap both of these fans into your motherboard uh, if you only have a single CPU fan header. Uh, here's a closer look at those dimensions. So um, measured depth-wise, you get 102.5 millimeters. Uh, measured from side to side, you get 122.35 millimeters. Uh, this is an important little diagram right here. This will tell you clearance. You get, wait, how much clearance do you get? Oh, that's over here. You get 40.65 millimeters of clearance measured from the motherboard to the fan. Uh, 36.6. This is not a very wide heatsink fan, so it should not... Uh, conflict with too many dim slots, but um, check with your motherboard's layout to make sure that it is compatible. Uh, you also get 102.5 millimeters uh, deep right there, and then measured top to bottom, 141 millimeters, so make sure you have enough uh, horizontal space in your case to fit this particular heatsink fan. So let's take a look at what all comes in the box here. It has some protective packaging, of course, to keep the fins and the heat sink in good shape on its way to you. So here is the N520 itself. I'll just set that to the side. It's sort of a unique design to it. And uh, here's all your included hardware as well as your manual. So uh, you get some warranty information here from Cooler Master. Let's see here. Free defect, uh, two year limited hardware warranty from Cooler Master for this heat sink fan. You also get an instruction guide here for installation. It includes many different languages, as you can possibly tell there, lots of different languages. So uh, if English is not your first language, you should be covered by most of those. Also get uh, some diagrams there to guide you through the installation procedures. Here is the mounting hardware. And uh, let me just get this all laid out and we'll go over it. So here are all of your included accessories. You get a little uh, plunger style applicator there with some thermal compounds. Definitely always have to install that when you're installing an aftermarket heat sink fan. I uh, get this little adapter here for uh, your hex bolts and that's just got a flathead or Phillips head adapter on the other side. That's for these bolts. These bolts actually go on the back side of the motherboard to secure the heat sink to the back plate. Uh, you get these little spacers here. These are for your AMD mounting solutions and those pop right on like that to provide some additional cushion and give as you're applying pressure to the base plate. And you get these four uh, mounting screws right there and these are used to secure your brackets here to the heat sink itself. This is a universal back plate. It has uh, some heat pads right there. These, are, uh, these stay on, don't try to peel those off, and they will uh, face the motherboard itself. So if you're using an uh, Intel mounting solution which uses these four right there, 
then you'll face that to the back of the motherboard like so. If you're going with an AMD solution, uh, then you use this pad right there and it will go onto the back of the motherboard like that. You have uh, two sets of brackets here. These are for Intel solutions. Uh, they have little spring-loaded uh, screws right there so you can move those into the position that's necessary for your 775, 1155, or 1156, or 1366. Uh, position those so they'll line up with the bracket and uh, then you attach these directly to the uh, heat sink of course. Uh, here's your AMD solution. Uh, you can, it's got mounting holes so you can do it uh, 90, 90 degrees rotation if you so prefer. And then those just uh, fit through the motherboard to secure to that back bracket. Uh, just to give you guys a really basic look at how that attaches. Basically you use those four screws to mount that to the uh, base plate of the heatsink fan itself and again AMD you can rotate it like so. Uh, Intel has a square bracket so you just attach those to either side and you can reposition them to line up with your socket. That said let's take a closer look at the heatsink fan itself and uh, let me just fish that out there. So uh, as you can see this has sort of a unique design. It is asymmetrical. Uh, it's got sort of two ops offset 92 millimeter fans there. It's got an array of uh, aluminum fins going up the side here that you can see that will uh, push the air through the fins to dissipate the heat. Uh, the heat is gathered here on the copper base plate. It's transmitted by these copper uh, six millimeter copper heat pipes up into the fin array and then the uh, air moving over those fins will disperse the heat and uh, move it away to keep your CPU cool especially if you're overclocking. Uh, here is that in included three pin fan adapter so let me just unplug that that will allow you to take both of your 92 millimeter fans there, plug them into that, and then have a single plug there to plug into your motherboard. Uh, these are quite short leads here coming off of the fans themselves, so you'll probably will need this even if, uh, <laughs> even if you don't want to use it. You'll need it to have enough length to plug those uh, directly into your motherboard. And then uh, there's a look at the cooling fans, 92 millimeters again. Uh, they have sort of a smoked, uh, smoky, clear plastic finish. And then if you look from the top here, you can see the array of heat pipes. So you got sort of a grouping of three and three here on either side, and then one more that's spaced off there to the side uh, to get uh, direct air flow hitting it from uh, either side, uh, whichever way that you orient the fans. The fans also mount directly to the uh, fin array using screws. So uh, very easy to, at least very secure, I should say, to mount those there. Uh, you just need a Phillips head screw to remove those if you so desire. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Cooler Master Hyper N520 aftermarket CPU heatsink fan for Intel and AMD CPU sockets. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.